Good evening. Welcome to the Evening News. I'm your host for tonight, Capoy Kunhua, in the news. Now, this is breaking news that just happened. This was released just before I uh, was preparing for comedy. I didn't have a chance to prepare a picture or anything, but this is real. Breaking news from Australia. The Australian High Court has ruled that Aboriginal people cannot be deported. <laughs> I am not making that up. Australian Prime Minister Scott Morrison said this is a temporary setback until they find some godforsaken part of the world they could send them to, like a criminal colony. Oh, you mean like Australia? <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. So, uh, last weekend was the 92nd Academy Awards that were held this Sunday, and it was many first time people received their Academy Awards. Uh, Brad Pitt got his first Oscar for supporting role in Once Upon, Time, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Laura Dern got her first for a supporting role in Marriage Story. Jacqueline Phoenix got his first o Oscar for Best uh, Actor in Joker. And also, this is the very first time an Oscar was given to an actor in a role related to comic book superheroes, or in this case, a villain. And also, among the very first, now this is very significant, a South Korean film won three big awards. Best International Film, Best Director, and Best Picture of the Year. The very first foreign language movie to ever do so. It's pretty ironic that a movie called Parasite would win Best Picture when, well, you know, the Oscars did not have a host this year. Mm -hmm. huh? You don't get it? No? Okay. No. Wait, All right. What? Oh, sorry about that. Well, because of the debacle of the Iowa caucus, a counting expert has been brought in to hopefully and formally <laughs> finally tabulate the results, and here he is. I am the count. I am the count. Now, after Ooh. the Iowa caucus meltdown, New Hampshire <laughs> says it is ready to use a brand new cutting edge and more reliable technology to accurately tabulate their results. Paper. <laughs> also, Rush Limbaugh, who spent many years extolling the social benefits and glamour of smoking, while at the same time denying tobacco has any negative effects, uh, he did this as recently as 2015, saying in his own radio show that secondhand smoke is a risk to no one. Well, he's just come down with lung cancer. Mm -hmm. Also... Um, and then, in a grand gesture of up yours to minorities, rape victims, AIDS patients, homosexuals, and literally everyone who believes climate change, President Trump awarded Rush Limbaugh the Presidential Medal of Freedom. Mm -hmm. To this, I'll say something my mom said once told me, if you have nothing nice to say about someone, say nothing at all. Next story. The Sheriff's Department of San Miguel, Colorado, went viral last week after issuing this warning on Twitter, a large <laughs> boulder the size of a small boulder is completely blocking the eastbound line of Highway 145. <laughs> now, the, to move this rock, the highway workers said they were going to need a medium-sized crane the size of a really big crane. <laughs> <laughs> Latest one. Let's see. Um, Oxford University professor has created a patch infused with bacon to help vegans cope with meat cravings. <laughs> apparently, the patch apparently the patch goes across a vegan's mouth so they could keep so they can't keep on talking about how cashew butter rebalanced their gut biome. <laughs> Stuff like that. Anyway, when a person who's wearing the patch scratches it, it produces a smell similar to that of cooked bacon, so they can imagine they're eating bacon, which supposedly should satiate their appetite, because, hey, nothing repels the craving for bacon like the smell of cooked bacon. Mm. <laughs> huh? oh, yeah, right. Oh, my gosh. Okay, here's one. Walmart. Walmart is now selling a rose wine drink enhancer that can be used to turn your water into a delicious glass of wine to achieve the perfect non-alcoholic drink. It's everything you love about wine without the only thing you love about wine. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is an actual real review. It's on Walmart's website. It is... This stuff is amazing if you add a few drops to vodka. <laughs> <laughs> also, uh, this is uh, news from Kingston. This is my local YMCA 
their swimming pool in my neighborhood has banned men from using hair dryers on their nether regions. And they even put up this poster graphically showing what elderly men do not do. Uh, I would like to be at the meeting where they decided it needed to be this graphic. You know? On top of that, oh my god, it looks like Thinker and it's making eye contact. Oh, man. <laughs> well, not deterred, I went out and I dried my wet nether regions in this Dyson Airblade because obviously that's what it's designed for. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the way you wish it was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah.